Registered Phenomena Code 994 Object Class Beta Purple Hazard Types Ecological Hazard Organic Hazard Regenerative Hazard Contact Hazard Biohazard Corrosive Hazard Explosive Hazard Toxic Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-994 is currently contained in a 7x5x8 meter room constructed of stainless steel, lead, and osmium. Every 10 hours, approximately 2 kg of meat should be placed in RPC-994's containment chamber. The walls must be at least 40 cm thick. Due to RPC-994's corrosive capabilities, containment chambers should be switched every two months. During the transport of RPC-994, a special 4x4x4m cage made from osmium and lead should be connected to the only door of the room that the anomaly currently resides in. ASF personnel are then tasked to lure RPC-994 into the cage. RPC-994 must be transferred into its new containment cell within 30 minutes. The transportation of RPC-994 should be supervised by at least six 24 armed security members. The ceiling of RPC-994's containment chamber should be fitted with an air cycler leading to a gas centrifuge system. This device is used to harness RPC-994-B from the toxic gas byproducts released once RPC-994 detonates the meat supplied to it. The centrifuge is to be depowered and cleaned twice a week. Description: RPC-994 is a large and highly durable avian humanoid entity, measuring around 2.5 meters. RPC-994 is covered in a thick layer of black soot and red scraps of cloth believed to provide sufficient kinetic protection to withstand small and medium caliber ammunition. Endurance testing of RPC-994 versus various firearms continues. Due to the inherently hostile nature of RPC-994, it is impossible to remove any part of the layer for sampling or examination of RPC-994's body. RPC-994's face appears to be made of keratin, with a sharp beak and two hollow eye sockets. It emits a very strong smell of hydrogen sulfide, more commonly known as the rotten egg stench. RPC-994 does not appear to display any capacity for learning, reasoning, and communication. It seems to be driven purely by instinct to destroy everything around it. The reasoning behind its destructive nature remains a mystery. Whenever RPC-994 grasps a physical object with its elongated hands, regardless of size, the object will gradually acquire a thick layer of black soot, similar to the soot covering the anomaly. When the affected object is fully covered, an internal degradation progress will begin. During this process, dangerous gases such as hydrogen sulfide, bromine monochloride, and RPC-994-B are released. RPC-994 appears compelled to prioritize touching and seizing hold of organic matter above all else. RPC-994-B is an extremely flammable gas produced during the degradation progress of objects that RPC-994 touches. In large quantities, it is toxic to humans and plants. However, when a very small dose of this gas is inhaled into the lungs, a natural gas mask film is formed. It is consistent in the fact that RPC-994-B is not absorbed into the bloodstream and coats the inner membranes of the entirety of the lungs in a thin barrier. RPC-994-B absorbs gases heavier than elements commonly found in air and prevents them from entering the bloodstream, explaining the gas mask effect. This effect lasts approximately 40 minutes after gas is inhaled, after which ciliary motion clears the toxin-soaked film and is ejected as a phlegm. These effects are a protective usefulness during chemical attacks or leaks of toxic gases, but are only limited towards protecting the lungs, so eye and skin protection may be nevertheless required. The capsules containing RPC-994-B are currently utilized by several mobile specialized teams, mainly for November 30, Forlorn Birds. RPC-994-B's gas mask effect doesn't appear to work on RPC-994-B itself. Provided that RPC-994 maintains physical contact with an object between 5 seconds to 5 minutes, depending on the weight of the object affected, 
See table below. The object violently explodes, releasing huge amounts of toxic gases and residual amounts of RPC-994-B in the post-detonation zone. RPC-994 appears to sustain itself by absorbing some of the toxic gas emanations. With access to a large quantity of these toxins, RPC-994 demonstrates regenerative capability up to the restoration of 80% of lost body mass. RPC-994 isn't affected by the explosion at all, based on observations that not even the hanging red scraps from its body sway from the explosion. It is hypothesized that RPC-994 phases out during an explosion. Based on calculations derived from detonations observed in ballistics footage, it appears that RPC-994's grasp converts objects on a one-to-one -one ratio, from normal mass to an equivalent mass of dynamite. Mass of touched object, amount of time needed to cover object, explosive power. 1 kg 5 seconds 1 kiloton 10 kg 10 seconds 10 kilotons 62 kg Average weight of an adult human approximately 17 seconds, 62 kilotons, 100 kilograms, 20 seconds, 100 kilotons, 1,000 kilograms, 200 seconds, 1,000 kilotons. Discovery RPC-994 was obtained on 19 after a successful raid on one of the research bases belonging to the hostile GOI Church of Malthus. During the raid, RPC-994 breached Malthus containment and affected approximately one to four people, most of which were unidentified test subjects used for Malthusian experimentation. It is theorized that the test subjects were used to produce gas capsules containing RPC-994-B. It is unknown how many of the capsules weren't destroyed during the attack. Information obtained from Malthusian records indicates that RPC-994 was first sighted and shortly captured on August 2, 1908, in Taiga in the north of Lake Baikal in an uninhabited area. The Church of Malthus had conducted investigations to determine the source of a huge explosion known as the Tunguska event that occurred on June 30 of the same year. At the time, the Authority had failed to detect any anomalous entity and chose to enact a widespread cover-up, administering amnestics to all witnesses and leaving evidence that would suggest the impacting of a small meteor shower. Incident Log 994-1 Date: September 10, 19 Location: Site 015-07-2000 During routine transportation of RPC-994, damage had occurred to the cell transporting it allowing RPC-994 to reach out and seize hold of Agent for approximately seconds. This caused an explosion with a force of 249.6 minimum ignition energy, killing two personnel assisting in the transportation and injuring the rest. The eastern wing of Site-015 was temporarily closed and evacuated. A special unit was sent to capture RPC-994. After approximately 40 minutes, RPC-994 was successfully lured back to the cage and transported to the new containment chamber. Conclusion: Containment protocols have been updated to maintain a clearly marked minimum distance of 3 meters from RPC-994's cage at all times. <laughs>